Hundreds of people packed into church today to say goodbye to Army Private First Class A.J. Pardo. Pardo was killed July 8th in Afghanistan when his unit came under attack by the Taliban. The 21-year-old Porterville native was stationed at Fort Bliss, Texas. Camp H News reporter Ashley Ritchie was at Pardo's funeral and has the outpouring of support from the community and One Valley Mom's heartbreaking connection to the family. Well, the city of Porterville is certainly no stranger to losing one of its own. Private Pardo is the third soldier from Porterville to be killed in Afghanistan in the last 18 months. But as you can see, this is a small community that's definitely felt a big impact. There are no sufficient words to describe the grief of a mother burying her son. Still numbness. It got to do this, 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 this and get through and then we'll let whatever comes, comes. And Jennifer Avery is one of few who knows exactly how Kate Pardo feels. We lost our son Jeffrey Avery in April 23, 2007. He was in an IED blast in Iraq. Now, 21-year-old A.J. Pardo's family must bear the unthinkable pain of his sacrifice. There is nothing that can take away the pain, nor replace A.J. nor the others who were lost. One by one, hundreds lined the fence around Holy Cross Catholic Church Tuesday. We have to pay a little tribute to our soldiers. I'm a veteran myself, and it's the best way that I can give back to the veterans that are currently serving. I mean, there's nothing you can say to make somebody feel, feel better. Just God bless you. So many of them have one thing in common. No, I didn't know him, but this is America. He died for us. So, I mean, there's not enough you can do for somebody like that. laid to rest at Hillcrest Memorial Park in Porterville. He was buried with full military honors. I love yous are always important. It's a scene that Jennifer Avery remembers well. She says this won't be the toughest day for AJ's family. Tomorrow will be the hardest day because people will go home and you'll be there and not know what to do. And during his funeral, military personnel presented AJ's mother with his bronze star and purple heart to honors she'd surely give back for one more day with her son. Reporting in Porterville, Ashley Ritchie, KMPH News. Five other soldiers also died in the July 8th attack that killed AJ Pardo. The names of his fallen comrades were read during his funeral today.